Oh, wow! Who doesn't love a good scandal? Well, not these restaurant chains, that's for sure. So let's find out why and check out 10 insane fast food scandals. Subway bread is not bread. This fresh, delicious, tasty. Subway story's an interesting one. The fast food restaurant has managed to make its mark among mega chains like McDonald's and KFC, serving only sandwiches. It's true that the chain has incorporated other menu items to keep up with the competition, but their sandwiches have always been the main attraction. One of the most appealing parts of a Subway sandwich would undoubtedly be the fresh baked bread, because as we all know, there are few things more delicious than the smell and taste of freshly baked bread. Unfortunately, Subway's bread isn't exactly bread. In fact, the product leans more towards the cake or confectionery side. This is due to the surprising amount of sugar content present in Subway's bread. In 2020, an Irish Supreme Court ruled that Subway's bread could not be defined as bread due to the aforementioned high sugar content. Subway Ireland attempted to appeal the decision, but the Irish Supreme Court was having none of it, pointing out technicalities dealing with sugar-to-dough percentages, and the ruling stood strong. So the next time you find yourself in a desperate search for just the right dessert and meal, kill two birds with one stone and grab yourself a Subway footlong. Krispy Kreme Club What are you guys doing here, huh? Are you in the Ku Klux Klan? Fans of The Simpsons all know Krusty the Clown. You might also know that the famous cartoon clown liked to change the initials of some of his events to match the K in his name, like the Krusty Comedy Classic. Awkward, yet funny? Absolutely. But that type of thing would never happen in real life, would it? Well, ever hear of the Krispy Kreme Club? Okay, on the surface, using the letter K to match the brand's spelling is simply a clever and fun choice. Nothing wrong with that, right? Unless, of course, we abbreviate. Then we have a hefty bit of controversy on our hands. This was the problem Krispy Kreme faced in 2015 when one of the donut chain's UK locations decided to change the the spelling of club with a C to club with a K. Krispy Kreme Club Wednesdays was a series of planned events for children during a week-long break from school. However, the unfortunate Triple K acronym was noticed right away and caused quite a bit of backlash. Suffice it to say, it didn't take long for all posts to be removed from the franchise's social media pages. Being associated with the most notorious hate group in the U.S. is not a good look, and it didn't take long for the U.K. franchise franchise to issue an apology. Hopefully, the less-than-observant person responsible for marketing at the time was relieved of their duties after this fiasco. McDonald's fries not so vegetarian. Oh, she's a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian. McDonald's french fries are delicious. In fact, they just so happen to be the most popular item on the burger chain's iconic menu. That's right, those golden brown fries salted to perfection even outsell the Big Mac. So it's safe to say McDonald's fans are quite fond of the fries. So what's the secret behind the iconic burger chain's famous fries? Beef flavor. At one time, the Golden Arches deep-fried their french fries in beef fat. And while the burger chain eventually claimed to have switched to vegetable oil in the mid-90s, traces of beef flavor continued to be found in the cooking oil. The famous franchise was sued as a result of their continued use of beef products in their cooking oil by three vegetarians who claimed that they were misled by the mega chain. However, McDonald's counter by stating they never claimed their fries were vegetarian. Ultimately, McDonald's ended up donating $10 million to charity groups, and the classic fries are still cooked with those beef product additives to this day. However, outside of the U.S., the chances that those McD's fries are actually vegetarian go way up, as different cooking methods are used in different countries. First time here? Then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and never miss out on a new video. Thanks. Now, back to the scandals. Kendall Jenner's Pepsi ad. Oh. My. God. There's nothing wrong with being rich, or more specifically, being born into a rich family. However, sometimes growing up rich can somewhat remove you from the real world, sheltering you from the various problems that happen to affect those that aren't as fortunate. This can compel those wealthy individuals to attempt to gain a social conscience and make a change, using their money, connections, and influence. With that being said, this was not the case with Kendall Jenner and her unfortunate Pepsi ad. 
In 2017, Pepsi released a commercial starring Jenner. The ad features Jenner in the middle of a rally that was quite obviously inspired by the Black Lives Matter rallies of that period. Jenner approaches a police officer and hands him a nice, refreshing Pepsi, which causes the protesters to cheer and peace is shared by all, with both Pepsi and Jenner to thank. Releasing an ad featuring police and protesters around the height of the BLM movement wasn't exactly a great idea. However, for Jenner to not only sign up for the ad, but to be completely oblivious to how the subject might be perceived was a major misstep by the young, wealthy socialite, to say the least. Of course, we can't forget that PepsiCo was responsible for the well-intentioned yet misguided ad to begin with. So, shame on them as well. Taco Bell's Mystery Meat With hard-shell tacos, you've gotta bite them from the bottom. Taco Bell, while tasty, will never be confused for fine Mexican dining. However, most people who visit the franchise are well aware of that fact. The Mexican fast food chain is all about serving up quick and delicious food at affordable prices, rather than trying to dazzle customers with authentic five-star, south-of-the-border cuisine. However, this doesn't mean that customers haven't raised an eyebrow when it comes to some of the ingredients used by Taco Bell, such as their beef. In 2011, a class-action lawsuit was filed against the Mexican fast food chain, claiming that their beef was only 35% meat. Taco Bell countered that their recipe contained 88% beef, with the remaining ingredients being water, flavoring, and spices. While the lawsuit was eventually dropped, the damage had been done and the stigma of mystery meat continues to sully Taco Bell's reputation. Despite this, the franchise hasn't really seen a drop in clientele. Perhaps Taco Bell lovers simply don't care what the meat is made of and care more about the taste. Expired Meat at McDonald's and KFC Meat Locker, now! Is there anything worse than expired meat? Never mind the smell, there are some serious health issues associated with expired meat. So, the idea of a fast food restaurant knowingly serving their customers expired meat is not only disgusting, but almost impossible to believe. Unfortunately, in the case of a few McDonald's and KFC locations, this, in fact, actually happened. In 2014, a group of undercover reporters discovered an American-owned factory in Shanghai was changing the dates on their meat products that had expired. These products were then sold to both McDonald's and KFC's Chinese locations. This revelation saw KFC's parent company, Yum Brands, dropping the meat distributor in favor of a new supplier. McDonald's, on the other hand, continued to use the same supplier, but would get their meat supply from a different plant. Just in case, you might want to take an extra look at that Big Mac and make sure the only green you spot in the burger is the lettuce. Papa John's Racist Remarks Chop Chop Next! Papa John Schnatter is a polarizing figure. The man and his popular pizzeria have been caught up in enough controversy that an entire video could be devoted to Papa John's alone. With that said, the outspoken founder has often put his foot squarely in his mouth when speaking about a variety of topics. However, his comments during a 2018 conference call definitely take the cake. A uh, pie, or pizza pie in this case. During a call between Schnatter, some executives, and their marketing agency, the Papa John's founder thought it was a good idea to address his feelings about the backlash about comments he made about the NFL a year prior. Schnatter went on to express that KFC founder Colonel Sanders had referred to African Americans in derogatory terms with zero public backlash. Schnatter went on to use the actual racist word during the call. What are you talking about? Inexplicably, the Papa John's founder continued to speak about atrocities he personally witnessed against African Americans in an attempt to show how much of an anti-racist he truly was. This only served to offend most of the people on the conference call. Ironically, this conference call was set up to prevent PR nightmares and mishaps from taking place. Burger King's patties have what in them? 
When we think of the mega burger chains, two names will likely spring to mind. McDonald's, of course, and their perennial nemesis, Burger King. While Burger King may always be considered second to McDonald's, the franchise has managed to differentiate itself from its rival with various menu options such as onion rings, and even established its signature burger, the Whopper, long before the Big Mac. Unfortunately, Burger King found themselves caught up in the middle of a horse meat scandal, at least in the case of some European locations. In 2013, it was revealed that some European BK meat suppliers were mixing horse meat into their ground beef. While no horse meat was found within any Burger King products themselves, the chain ended up changing meat suppliers just to be on the safe side. McDonald's $3 million coffee lawsuit Coffee is hot, and she's driving all crazy, and she spills a little on the left. McDonald's has transcended its humble beginnings as just a simple burger joint and has become a major part of pop culture. When it comes to McDonald's famous food, the mega chain wasn't satisfied with only offering Big Macs and some of the most beloved fries in restaurant history and decided to add premium coffee to its menu. McDonald's has become pretty serious with their coffee over the years. However, the burger chain has had some issues involving one of their locations and a hot cup of java. In 1994, an elderly woman named Stella Liebeck visited her local McDonald's and ended up receiving third-degree burns to her pelvic area after being scolded by her exceedingly hot McDonald's coffee. Liebeck ended up spending eight days in the hospital while undergoing skin grafts, followed by two years of medical treatment. Liebeck sought to settle with McDonald's for $20,000, enough to cover her medical expenses. However, after the burger chain refused, the whole matter went to court. Ultimately, Liebeck would walk away with a almost $3 million after the jury found McDonald's 80% responsible for Liebeck's injuries. The incident, dubbed the hot coffee scandal, left McDonald's with a rather large stain on its otherwise clean track record. This type of incident has affected other fast food chains with varying degrees over the years, but none are as infamous as the McD's hot coffee incident. Jared's Fall from Grace Oh man, he don't look that bad. Remember those Subway ads featuring Jared Fogle, the man who credited Subway's sandwiches for his massive weight loss? During the early 2000s, Jared's face was so associated with the Subway sandwich that he became the official spokesperson of the franchise. The Subway ads featuring Fogle were lighthearted, often showcasing the former 245-pound man's massive pants, which often encompassed his entire body. During this time, Fogle would establish the Jared Foundation, a nonprofit organization focused on raising awareness about childhood obesity through educational programs and tools provided to parents, schools, and community organizations. Everything was all well and good until 2015, when the FBI and the Indiana State Police raided Fogel's home and arrested him for charges involving minors. Why? What'd I do? What I do? This wasn't the first time Fogel had been mired in controversy, as the former Subway spokesperson's name came up during an investigation into similar accusations involving the former director of the Jared Foundation. Needless to say, Subway released a statement that same day addressing the controversy and distancing themselves from Jared and removing him as the chain spokesperson, as well as dissolving their business relationship. Fogel pleaded guilty and is currently serving a 15-year prison sentence. Check out more great videos. Just tap or click. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Thanks.